Well, hello again, folks. This is Thury, the Hobo Guy Johnson, back with another fun little project. As always, you can find out more about these projects on thurryjohnson.com or thehoboguide.com, along with some parts and materials lists and tools. So, I've been planning a little shakedown cruise in Judy, my mobile hobo hacienda. But before I get going, I really need to get things organized. And there's just a lot of stuff that a hobo needs to live the good life. And I haven't quite finished acquiring amenities for this new lifestyle. So while sorting a few things out in the back of my main hobo living quarters, I found a couple of pieces of one inch PVC pipe. And that led to this project. I'm going to make a fishing rod holder for my pickup topper and we'll make it from five cross T's or we'll make it from five crosses and five T's uh, PVC fittings and I used what I had which is one inch pipe and fittings but I would suggest a three quarter inch PVC if this is a project you want to try I made mine to hold five fishing poles but you know you make it larger or smaller depending upon what your needs are. Now you start by cutting about an inch and a half sections from your PVC pipe and as I was joining five front pieces and five rear pieces I would need eight inch and a half sections to connect all those together. I used my Ryobi reciprocating saw to make quick work of it but a hacksaw will do the job too. After cutting the joining sections, clean, clean them up and deburr each piece. And then the next was to glue and fit each piece. Use a little primer and very little glue. These fittings are not going to have to hold water and so just a little glue does the trick. Now I glued each fitting and I laid the assembly flat on the table and pressed it down to make sure that all the openings aligned. And after I got them all assembled, the five crosses and the five T's all together, I hung them from the aluminum ribs in my topper. Now the front ones, the Velcro straps that I used to hang them went over the top of the rib. On the rear ones, I had to pop rivet those on, those Velcro straps. Now if you're topper is fiberglass you're gonna have to use some hot glue or epoxy or something else to hold them. Now what I found was a one inch PVC was too large for the butt end of the rod and I put a little sleeve inside of them to take them down a little bit they were still too big and I suspect that three quarter inch PVC will be just a little large also but I had some filter foam for my window air conditioners laying around so for each pole I cut a three inch square and slipped it over the butt end of the slip or the fishing rod and then pushed it into the the cross where the butt goes and it it secured and it, it stays great I've been down some pretty rough roads in our town and they're not shaking loose so that did the trick. So there it is. It's one more step towards hobo luxury and I'll be getting on the road here pretty quick and posting some videos from the road. I plan on visiting some national monuments. Hopefully maybe a national park or two. And I'm really looking forward to this trip. I got a brand new granddaughter about five weeks ago and I haven't seen her yet. So we're going to go see her, we're going to take the grandson fishing, so we'll have some fishing videos. Coming up I've got a couple of projects that you might really be interested in. Uh, one of them is making a water heater uh, that operates off of solar panels um, out of a five gallon bucket. Piece of cake project too. Uh, and then I'm for the solar panels I'm putting together a solar generator they call it and 
I've seen some really slick ones on YouTube. But we're going to try it, and uh, I hope you guys will view those videos too. Uh, subscribe, and you'll get notified when they come. And uh, visit thurryjohnson.com or thehoboguide.com for more information on these products. We really appreciate your viewing. We appreciate your subscriptions. Until next time, this is Thurry the Hobo Guy Johnson signing off and hoping you have a fantastic day.